Ooh, rain, wind, and snow. <laughs> that is not ideal. 33 degrees doesn't seem too bad. The wettest months, three inches of rain. Oh no, we're gonna need to check a bag. For base layers, we're bringing two full sets, one merino wool base layer, a merino wool half zip synthetic base layer pant. For our mid layers, one puffer vest, a fleece jacket, a puffer jacket, a merino wool sweater, an alpaca wool sweater. For active wear bottoms, we've got a pair of snow pants, a snow bib overall, water resistant pants, a wool trouser, faux leather leggings, a jumpsuit, fleece line leggings, a white long sleeve tee, a puff sleeve satiny top, a turtleneck, a blazer. two swimsuits, so we're going to bring one pair of platform sneakers. These are going to work as my airplane shoes and generally just like my evening shoes for dinners. One pair of hiking boots and one pair of snow boots. For accessories, a pair of earmuffs, fun hat, practical beanie, super fun furry hat, a merino wool hat, two gaiters that are entirely fur lined. For pajamas, we're bringing one pair of flannel pajamas, one evening crossbody, one fanny pack and a day pack. Shearling moto coat. Well, faux shearling, I should say. A snowboarding jacket. A water resistant coat. So the first thing we're going to do is separate everything that we're going to be wearing on the aircraft. I'm going with my merino wool base layer, these fleece line leggings. I figure they should be comfortable for the plane, but also warm enough when I get off the plane. And then this faux shearling lined uh, jacket. So this is everything that we don't have to worry about packing. A few other items that are not going to make it into the bag my biggest coat. I have a special place that this is going to go, so it's not gonna go into the suitcase. Okay, I think we're ready to pack. Now, what I like about this bag is that it actually has a lot of internal organization already, so I really am not going to need to do anything with packing cubes. One thing I do want to point out, sorry, that was so noisy. These are entirely removable. Then I've got a nice flat pocket over here, a detachable pocket here. Can I just mention, I'm pretty excited about this bag. I'm going to use this to hold my bathing suits so that after I go to the Sky Lagoon and the Blue Lagoon, I can stick my wet bathing suits in here. That way I don't need an extra plastic bag. Packing is really just an intensive game of Tetris. We'll start with our neck gaiters, just because they're nice and flat and perfectly fill in the divots. Next, let's add in things like pajamas down here, base layers, love pants like these. What I'm going to do is kind of roll them, 
stick them right in. So now we have perfectly flat layer. A sweater, go this way. Soft top. Need something to go in the middle right here. Is that gonna be a space for a base layer? Nice. Then we can take something like this jacket, pop it in, press it down, same idea. Pop it in, press it down. You know, we still have a ton of room over here. So we'll do one swimsuit, two swimsuits. I have an idea of what needs to go on the top. So you're gonna go up here. You'll go down there. Good. Of these. Now we've got our big items. So something like this pant, this coat, my puffer vest, and this on the side. You know what? These are bigger. So you'll go in the middle, perfect, because that can press down, and then you'll go on this side. Then we just need to add in our hood. You know what we can do? Take this out, instead of folding it in threes, we're gonna do twos. Perfect. Now you'll see that there's a lot of empty space in here. The point of having a checked bag to me is the ease of packing. For this trip, we're staying in four different hotels. So I actually want to have some gaps for one, so that if I need to buy any souvenirs, I have places to put them, i.e. here, here, here on the sides. Two, by the third hotel, you're tired. So you wanna have some space so that if you're not packing as carefully, you're not being as neat, you can get everything in very easily. So now, So now we're ready to pack all of our other bits and bobs on the other side. First things first, we're gonna put in our hiking boots. And obviously they make like fancy bags for this, but I'm just reusing a bag that some of my Amazon products came in because after I've worn these for hiking and there's probably gonna be dirt and rocks, I wanna make sure they don't touch anything in my bag. But at the same time, I don't need to buy something fancy for that. Now, am I a fan of my fancy shoe bags? Obviously. Do I need them all the time? No. This is my toiletry bag. Now, I am doing my toiletry bag into two parts. The items that I cannot buy anywhere else, things like color matched foundations, my skincare, that's gonna go in my carry-on, so I have it. Other items that I should be able to buy elsewhere, like medicine, my loofah, things like that will get packed into here. Next, we're gonna throw in our hats. Now, these all have kind of these furry elements, and so the reason that I need to pack these sooner than later is I wanna make sure that they do not get anywhere near the zipper. So for instance, this hat, you can pack in, make sure the puff is up here. This one, I'm gonna turn it inside out, fold it in half, and put it there. This hat, fold in half. Make sure all my puffs are up here. And that way, when I zip, I don't have to worry about getting these caught. Then I've got my crampons, which are what I need to walk in the snow. My clothes drying line. I'm very excited to test that out on this trip. My towel, in case I need it for any of the lagoons, and my earmuffs. Then I've got a little space in here That'll work for <clears throat> hmm. That'll work for my goggles, which we're gonna hmm. let's see, maybe tuck in, tuck in. Good. Then I've got a handbag that I'm on the fence about taking, but what I like for it is that it's good for the evenings and it's holding my belt my scarves, 
my headlamp, and some jewelry. And so the reason that I stuff these items into here is that it helps them, helps the bag keep its shape. I've got some space over here. Oh yeah, tuck it all in. There we go. Tuck that in, put our towel right there. My snow gloves. Now we're ready to zip it up. I am a wimp when it comes to cold weather. So I'm bringing these hot hands. Basically you can tuck these in your glove or just hold on to them and toe warmers. And I'm bringing enough for both Misty and I, which is why I have so many. What I'm excited about is that when I come back, I shouldn't have any more of these, so I'll be less the weight here. I just wanna say, from one of my most recent videos, a lot of people, an uncomfortable amount of people, ask me about my underwear, as in, where do I pack my underwear? So I will make sure to discuss that in this. Whether I'm traveling for a week or a month, I only take two pairs of underwear, two briefs and two thongs. The reason for that is I do a lot of sink laundry. Basically, at the end of the night, I take a shower, wash up my underwear during the shower using some laundry detergent that I always carry with me. I can just lay them out to dry on the towel warmer or the towel rack, and by the morning, they're fully dry. Now, the reason that I bring two of each is let's say you have a very long day or a late dinner or you go out and party and you come back and you don't have time to wash. I never want to get to like two days in a row of that and suddenly I have no underwear to wear. Now, let's go ahead and get those packed. For my bras, I only bring two bras. One, of course, I wear on the plane, the other gets packed. I will only buy bras that are 100% pack flat. And with that, it means that any of the, the cup dimension is built into the fabric. There's no extra padding, extra thickness. And the reason that I do this is so that I can pack them into one of my flat pockets. For socks, I only bring about two socks on any trip that I go on. Same as the underwear, I do a ton of sink laundry, so I'm able to wash them and they dry out pretty quickly. So the reason why I do a flat bra is because it can very easily go into this pocket. And I am bringing in just a third pair of socks. These are really cozy. I figure they'll be good hotel socks in case the hotels don't give us slippers. On this side, there's a nice little mesh corner, and that's where I'm gonna pack in all of my undies. So for that, just put them in one at a time. Those are the three, and then my extra pair of socks. And now we have everything packed. We are ready to put this away. Ready and... Voila, we are done. So, we are all packed. And honestly, using a checked bag, what a revelation. If you've been to Iceland or any other super cold weather destination, let me know what you packed and if you went with the checked bag route or the carry-on bag route. Otherwise, guess we're ready to go to Iceland. Peace. Probably didn't need to eat it like that. Oh shit. Look at you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Who's underweight? Who's underweight? <laughs> I don't even want to check this backpack though.